Greetings everybody. Hoping everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, loving life. Wanted to get on and talk to everybody today about proxy instruments. As some of you have noticed um, in my group, Hotep Secondly, um, I've got a, uh, a PayPal link and it's listed as a proxy PayPal. And so I wanted to talk to you about instruments in that proxy uh, sense and what it is is somebody else and they added that for myself of which they can receive funds and then distribute to myself through that PayPal account now what we've done there is we've set up another account through another debit card credit card which is licensed under Visa, which most places will take. And I can either use a physical card under that other business account, or I can do a virtual card for one-time uses. And the way I do that is through this device right here, this phone. By taking a picture of the one-time use card with this account number and its use number and stuff and say I, I go to uh, Walmart and I want to buy a new pair of boots and I can get on this phone and I can take the price and I can add the tax to it and I can come up with the total price and I can transfer that amount from the PayPal account to the virtual Visa card and then go up to the cashier and show her the the, the account number on the phone so by proxy this right here there we go this device right here is now a financial instrument of my person and that person through that account is not Keith Orland Little. It's listed under a name that I created. So now we have a proxy financial instrument of which I have a right to be secure in that they are not allowed to take because it's a legal instrument. So if I get pulled over or something like that and they want to take my phone, sorry. Uh -uh. And it's very interesting how this works. And so when other people will catch on and comprehend the dissemination of information. The sharing of information. If you see one of my recent posts about separation, statement of separation. I'm not allowed to disseminate information that belongs to the United States. And that includes the social security number, which is discerned and clarified as a United States citizen. And this is why, why I try to explain to you people, you cannot be the citizen. The citizen is nation within that card. So now we've created a new financial instrument through use of the technologies that we have available today. And this is why I say, people, your most, most powerful weapon, your most powerful tool is your own mind if you just use it. By untangling all the serpentine words and correlating them in the right way, in the right mathematical format, because now, like I said, this phone is a proxy financial instrument. And all I got to do, like I said, is write up the totals, compute the tax, and I have my final total. And then I can transfer that, that exact sum for a one-time use virtual card. And now I have no physical instruments such as cards or anything. Like that. I don't even need a bank account.
help each other. This is, this is private banking by proxy. If you comprehend that, that's private banking by proxy without even having to state a private member association. Because you're not actually allowed to disseminate certain various information that belongs to others. So when you create your own legal entities and use them through proxy instruments, proxy forums, see this is this Facebook thing, this is a this is a uh, information dissemination forum as uh, inf information dissemination center in a public forum. It's not a public information dissemination forum. It's an information dissemination center of a public forum. And so when we untangle the serpentine twist of the words in the documents that they present us, we can educate ourselves. We can learn. We can advance. We can modernize ourselves. It's like when they present these documents. If you know what the words are, know how to untangle them, you don't need any documentation yourself. If you learn this information, my people shall perish for lack of knowledge. Shew thyself so you shall not perish for lack of knowledge. And then along with that, See, uh, Hosea 4, verse 6 says, my people shall perish for lack of knowledge. And that's, that's where we get into this concept of we pay for our father's sins, also mentioned in the Bible. But see, it goes farther than just that statement of my people shall perish for lack of knowledge. What it's saying is we should study to, or study to shew thyself and pass that knowledge along to our brothers and sisters, our fellow our, our fellow fellow man, our younger generation, so that they can learn it and enhance their education along with the advancements of modern technology. So I urge people to learn how to, how to use these words and the instrumentalities of those words, the forms that we use to disseminate those words. So when you, get, when you set up these proxy accounts, you can get a PayPal account and set up a proxy account for your children, for your heirs, for your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your nieces and nephews. They can get PayPal accounts and set up the same proxy accounts. And now you've got by two witnesses. See how that works? See, all this advanced modern technology is not, a, not against us. We're against ourselves by not educating ourselves in it. Again, mankind's most powerful tool is his own mind if you just learned how to use it. And you can do all of it without a single document by instrumentalizing the, the technology. Plain and simple. I hope you guys comprehend this. And if you don't, feel free to ask questions because I can explain it further. But for now, just comprehend that proxy instrumentalities are a great thing I've been a, I, I've been a long time studying this stuff and quit the commercial system in all of the use of the banking accounts and the, the credit cards and debit cards or loans or anything like that and having to deal with this barter system and the Federal Reserve notes simply through a doctrine of necessity now I don't even have to worry about the Federal Reserve notes. So, so as long as people help out with the gratuities through this proxy PayPal account, simply because uh, they wish to give freely for what I'm freely given, I don't require any certain amounts. I don't require anything. I just offer the information that I'm willing to accept gratuities and it doesn't even have to be Federal Reserve notes. Like I've stated many times, I'd, I'd like to get back into making knives. So if you got old knives that need to be refurbished, refinished, or um, materials that I can use in doing that, pins and, and blanks and, and uh, wood and things that I can use to make handles and sheaths, leathers and, 
and uh, threading to, to sew the leathers together and stuff, um, uh, sealers to seal the leather, whatever. I'm willing to accept all gratuities. And I hope you guys can use um, your mind as an instrumentality. And remember, people, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. God bless and have a great day. Bye.